Hey guys, so I haven't done a vlog like this in a long time, um, or possibly quite ever, honestly, <laughs> but I've decided that today's the day that Elena Grace and I've been thinking get back into vlogging. So here we are, and I'm going to bring you guys with me on... <laughs> A really scary adventure for me today. Um, I have to go get an ultrasound on one of my breasts. Um, I have a family history of breast cancer and at my last gyno visit I had some dense tissue that they wanted to check out. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna bring you with me and um, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so I thought I might talk for a minute about why I'm so scared. Um, first of all, as you know, most people know cancer is scary. Um, it is just conceptually, inherently <laughs> really terrifying, right? So, um, obviously that is what's got me so anxious about this. Um, however, specifically, I do have a family history of breast cancer. On my mom's side, there's a history there. Um, my aunt, my mom's sister, is a breast cancer survivor. Um, my second cousin, one of my mom's first cousins, she actually succumbed to breast cancer, unfortunately, last year. Um, and that was really, that was really hard for all of us. And she was pretty young, too. And then um, I think it was her mother one of my great aunts, she also had breast cancer, and if I remember correctly, she also succumbed to it. So, you know, it's just with that much of it in the family, it's always been a concern for all of us. My mom had the genetic testing done back in 2015, um, but that has changed a lot since then so I'm gonna try to have the genetic testing done this year as well um, my mom was clear of it thankfully back then but like I said since it's changed so much my gyno's office recommended that I get it done as well just to make sure because it tests for way way more genes now which is really impressive um, but yeah it's just really scary that there's a concern at all, you know? So, and everybody's telling me like, oh, Elena, it's fine. It's just, it's just dense tissue. And I'm like, yeah, fingers crossed. Hopefully it is just dense tissue, but what does that dense tissue mean? Could it mean something more, you know? So I left my house like an hour before I needed to, um, because I have that thing where if I have something later in the day, it's really hard for me to do anything else before. Um, so I just decided to go ahead and leave because I wasn't getting anything done at home. I also woke up with a migraine this morning and that was certainly not helping me get anything done, right? So I wake up with a migraine so anything I could be doing, I really don't feel like doing. And then I have that thing that's totally undiagnosed, but I know I have something, executive dysfunction at the very least, that keeps me from getting things done when I have something later in the day. So I came to my favorite local coffee spot. I'm like pulled up around the side because 
they're making my coffee still. So I pulled up to my favorite local coffee spot, MJ's, here in Niceville, to get a latte, oat milk latte. And now I'm going to go to Michael's first um, because I have an art, I have a few art markets coming up and I need like some little wooden crates. So this is my distraction. Embarrassing. She came out to hand me my friggin' latte. And I was talking on the phone. Thank God it was a Gen Zer. Okay, I absolutely secured the bag in Michael's. Um, I, Nikki Minjaj came on the on the Spotify while I was recording. I'm pretty sure I can't feature Red Ruby de Sleaze in my YouTube videos. I don't have the budget for that. Anyway, I secured the bag. So that's awesome. Michael's had like a really good sale today. So I got a bunch of frames to buy one, get two free. Like, are you kidding me? I can frame a bunch of my stuff now for my market. So I'm excited for that. So, and then also just for like the galleries and boutiques that I have them in. So got a lot of work to do, but This latte is called The Sweet Melissa. Don't know who it's named after, but um, it's really good. It's got honey and cinnamon and vanilla, maybe, in it. But it's really good. I'm really happy about it. That's what I've been getting all month. They, like, rotate their latte specials, so. Cheers to you, Melissa. Um... But yeah, I'm really satisfied with my Michael's purchases. And I was thinking, like, the doctor's office is only seven minutes away. And I don't have to be there for another, like, 20 to 30 minutes. But I think I'm just going to go. I think I'm just going to go. Like, what if there's traffic, etc.? I really don't need to go to TJ Maxx, so... And that was going to be my other time killer if I still had a ton of time to kill, you know? So, yeah, I'm just going to go. Um, I'm terrified. Okay. I'm here. sweetest most angelic tech ever um, but because I got there so early I had to wait forever um, it's fine it was like probably better for me that I was there so early just so I could chill out a little bit um, but yeah I had the sweetest tech ever and I asked her like she told me about the ultrasound and she was like she zooms it out and she's like you see that right there and I was like yeah she was like that's your lung I go oh that's lit and she like cackled and she was like see that's your rib and that's your breast tissue that's your skin that's your muscle and there's like there's your rib and there's your lung and I was like oh she was just like I know it's really cool so shout out to Brittany um you were an angel um but yeah, I asked her a few questions and otherwise, and she was like, I wish I could tell you. She was like, I, I can't tell you anything at all. Um, she was like, I know that it would be so helpful if I could. She was like, but I literally can't tell you anything, but you'll hear from your doctor in a day or two, hopefully. 
and I was like, okay. Okay, so yeah. Thanks for coming with me. I get coffee cubes, so that way I can take as long as I want to drink it and it doesn't get watered down. I have the shakes. Not sugar shakes, anxiety shakes. Yeah. So, I don't know. Back home now, um, definitely processing the day and my feelings, etc. Um, have a lot of feelings about it, honestly. But I don't think I'll be able to really get through any of them until my results come in, which I'm definitely going to be including in this video, so I'm not going to leave you hanging. Um, but yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot to be 27 and a half years old and be getting an ultrasound on one of your breasts because there's cause for concern, you know? Like, that's a lot. Um, and it's a lot to, to, to deal with that, like, I, sh I should be doing other things today. Like, this shouldn't be something I'm having. This shouldn't be something anybody should be having to deal with. I don't know. I just have a lot of thoughts about cancer. And um, I'm really scared. So, yeah. Thanks for coming with me today, though. I'll be right back with the results. So, today is Friday. My ultrasound appointment was on Monday. Yesterday, Thursday, I was tired of waiting and I decided I'm just going to call the doctor's office because I need to know what's going on. Um, I call my gyno was out of the office, which perhaps is why I hadn't gotten a call yet. I'm not sure. But I got a nurse to talk to me about my test results. And they were benign. So, very, very thankful for that. Um, it was obviously a really stressful week. But, um, and really scary and I had to, I honestly spent the week thinking about what I would do if it came back and there was something there, How, you know, kind of just like trying my best to process all of that. Um, I'm still going to try to do the genetic testing to see if I have any of the genes that are associated with breast cancer since I do have a family history of it. Um, but ultimately, I have a lymph node that is kind of of note, but basically for now, I'm just fine. Um, so really, really thankful. I still haven't fully processed that good news. I'll be honest, because um, I had a really busy day at work yesterday, and I was like, just all of the emotions and thankfulness that I had about being in the clear for now, at least, I was like kind of pushing it back. Um, but yeah, very excited and thankful for that, and glad that I could do this whole vlog of the process because it definitely helped, one, distract me from being as scared as I would have been. It kind of felt like I was bringing a friend along to the appointment and that kind of thing. But it also um, 
has helped me process my thoughts in some other ways. So Winnie gets to keep a mom and Winnie's mom gets to keep her boobs for now. So that's exciting. Thanks so much for joining on this journey guys and we'll be back for some more vlogs very soon.